Thursday is Thanksgiving, and there's so much to be thankful for this year, unless you're a human woman. The throwbacks were everywhere on this week's Saturday Night Live. Post Chance the Rapper brought back 90s R&B to beg for another Barack Obama term. Eminem and Skylar Grey resurrected Stan. And the Trump boys made a return appearance to talk a little collusion. But many tuned in Saturday to see how the series would take on former SNL star turned Minnesota Senator Al Franken, who was accused last week of groping a TV host and kissing her without her consent. Turns out they left that job to Weekend Update, which is where we begin as we take a look at the must-see moments from this week's SNL. After co-host Colin Jost opened with his Thanksgiving joke about the sexual harassment and assault allegations sweeping Hollywood and the political world, he drilled down on Franken. And he specifically referenced the photo posted by radio host Leanne Tweeden, who claimed that Franken groped her breast while she was sleeping on their flight back from a USO tour. I know this photo looks bad, but remember, it also is bad. Meanwhile, co-host Michael Che pointed out how President Donald Trump went after Franken on Twitter but has stayed mostly silent on Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore, who's been accused of sexual misconduct toward women in their teens. And according to Che, that's because... Franken is a liberal and Trump and Moore are conservatives. And in this country, everybody has to pick a side. Except for me, I think they're all bitches. Che went on to say he doesn't know which side he would even be on if he had to pick, as he seems to be struggling a bit with his political identity. Maybe I'm liberal because I do live in a gay neighborhood, but then... Maybe Maybe I'm conservative because I never want to live in a black neighborhood again. Host Chance the Rapper, however, did pick a side in a sketch dedicated to former President Barack Obama. Chance joined cast members Chris Redd and Keenan Thompson to wear early 90s fashion and sing a boys to men style R&B ballad called Come Back Barack. I feel like we're all gonna die, so come back Barack. The trio fearing an upcoming war saying things are bad, like really bad, like nuclear bad. And they didn't have much hope for the 2020 election either. 2020's looking sad. Maybe Michelle could run. Another huge musical moment this week came courtesy of Eminem, who presented a lengthy medley with Skylar Grey instead of performing the traditional two separate times. Fittingly, the duo started with the new song Walk on Water, with Grey providing guest vocals for the track in place of Beyonce. I walk on the two then seamlessly transitioned into a pair of throwbacks. They ended with Grey subbing for Rihanna on Love The Way You Lie, but in between, the duo thrilled fans by bringing back the classic Stan from 2000's The Marshall Mathers LP. Truly yours, just because fans, just to stay. And we end where the show began this week with a tale from the Mueller files, a riff on Robert Mueller, who was heading the special counsel investigating possible Russian collusion in the 2016 election. In a reenactment of events that may or may not have taken place during the election, Kate McKinnon, wearing a white beard and leather jacket, impersonated WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to meet with Mikey Day's Donald Trump Jr. in an abandoned parking garage. Trump Jr. asked for dirt on Hillary Clinton, while Assange requested to be cleared of all espionage charges. But first, they had to set some ground rules. I trust you come along. My brother Eric is waiting in the car. I told him to honk the horn if he gets scared. The horn, of course, did eventually get blasted, and Alex Moffat's Eric joined the meeting. He looks like Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Eric, what did we say about making fun of people's appearances, bud? That's Dad's thing? <sighs> oh, Eric. And by the way, two points to Slytherin for the Harry Potter reference. To watch the full sketches from this week's SNL, head to THR.com. And in the meantime, what were your favorite moments from this week's episode? Let us know in the comments section. And of course, you guys, don't forget, subscribe right here to THR News so you never miss an important story. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.